degree, I have apologized to the people in the building, uh, Coach Petten, Jimmy Haslam, the rest of the football staff, and everybody that was involved uh, from our side as far as football-wise, that uh, they understand um, what happened. Um, to that degree, it was an open investigation from the league's perspective, so there's not a lot of commentaries there. But I will tell you that, uh, again, I take full responsibility for myself and my, uh, my actions, and the things that I've learned from that is that um, there are there is a platform to have those conversations and have those things talked about and discussed. Um, I misplayed that uh, platform, something I've learned from, something I'll be better at, and, and uh, I've corrected that mistake. So um, before we continue, I'd like, that's what I'd really like to say is that, one, I apologize to Jimmy Haslam, our fans, and the football staff. So with that being said, I'll open up to any questions you guys have. Are you expecting any kind of punishment from the league? As we got to the league, uh, the decisions in their hands, uh, cooperated fully, shared all information. So I'll just wait to hear what their uh, take is on that. Does it need to be uh, relationship mending with Mike Pettin at all? No relationship mending. Uh, Coach Pettin and I uh, work really well together. Uh, we've had our conversations. Um, we've worked through uh, what that was. And, and again, I know he expressed his disappointment, et cetera. And we had those conversations, and um, we're moving to full steam ahead. Do you feel like your words undercut the coaching staff at all? Uh, do I feel like what? Like your words undercut the coaching staff at all? No, I do not. Ray, is uh, is that widespread in the league? And just you got caught. I, I I would tell you that I, I don't know what happens anywhere else. I know I made a mistake, and I'm I'm, I'm owning that. Did you know it was against the league rules? Um, I would tell you that to that degree, people understand that what the rules are, and um, sometimes, <laughs> in my case, I would tell you that it's not an excuse, but sometimes your your emotions get the best of you times. Did you feel excess pressure in the organization given the quick rate of turnover there? Did I feel an excess amount of pressure? In terms of, the, in terms of texting the coaches on the side, because of the turnover and some of the other things you've heard about that's, that have been reported behind the scenes with the Browns, did you feel excessive pressure in reaching out to the coaches that way? No, did not feel any external pressure or pressure from anyone else. Would you describe the organization as a healthy one? I would describe our organization as a healthy one. Why is that? I would describe it as healthy because we do have um, platforms where you can discuss those things openly and honestly, and you can have direct conversations. And in a large part, those conversations are, are met with uh, with candor. Guys are able to speak their minds. Um, granted, I'm the general manager, but again, people, I, I'm an open book. Like I, I tell people the truth of how I feel and kind of where I'm at. And um, I think we get that expressed uh, readily throughout the organization, from coaches to scouts, et cetera, that I think our, our organization is really good in that manner. I think that's very, very helpful. Uh, Jimmy is a, is a good man. He's a really good owner. And um, to that degree, uh, his support was monumental, at least for me personally. And uh, I thought it felt really good for me in a moment where uh, nobody likes to hear the negative, but the reality is there is a negative. And um, it was really it was really good for my behalf to hear Jimmy's uh, comments. Given the, given the maturity of Justin Gilbert and Johnny Manziel last year, you guys are approaching this combine the interview process. 